stop treating our children as if they are canaries in the coal mine on this problem. The only way we're finding out that we really have an issue is through the blood tests that children get when they're infants or they're about to enter kindergarten. That's how we're finding out we have a problem. We need to be proactive. This is a preventable problem. Many of the recommendations in the national study for how to eradicate lead in our systems are all parts of legislation that are currently uh, on the table in the Assembly and the Senate. And the problem occurs from birth to toddlerhood. That's when the neural tube, that's when the brain and spinal cord are being developed. That's when lifelong problems are developed. And when I talk about sociological issues, you talk about who is this as an adult? What happens in our educational system? Do these kids go to college? Will they have jobs? What happens on the tail end of this thing we've created and left fallow for many, many years? So I have to reiterate, this is the tip of the iceberg. It's great we're dealing with the water. It's a great idea. It's great we're doing testing, although there are holes in the testing process. Uh, much larger, we have to make sure that uh, we do actual remediation, actual action. This is an emergency.